Hey guys, ETN here from Sunbros, and today I'm going to be bringing you fresh off the presses the new gameplay video for Estes, the Moon Elf King, which is the new hero that we're going to get in Mobile Legends here soon. So um, I got a copy of uh, what his abilities do, so we'll kind of break that down while we're watching the video. So let's go to get this started. Um, and first, let me just say that I really, really um, like the way he looks. I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings. I like the elf thing, so I think it's pretty cool. I think he's a he's a really cool looking hero. In both in game and his, his splash art stuff but um <clears throat> so you can see from here that first of all nothing really pops up i mean not his durability isn't crazy his offense is crazy his ability effects isn't crazy like nothing is too wild in the way that he's played but um he's gonna be really solid and i'll show you why go over his abilities and show you what he's capable of doing he's going to be i think very very crucial here in, in uh, most of these games so his first ability, the Code of Moon Elves, is his passive, and this is what it does. Code of Moon Elves will charge energy into SS periodically and improve his next basic attack. So you guys see the little thing in the bottom there, it says 93. That's what it's charging. When it gets to 100, um, it'll improve his next basic attack, dealing magic damage to the target while slowing it down. The damage will then ricochet towards nearby enemies dealing magic damage. So we'll watch when it gets to 100. It'll bounce off the bounce off him, hit the other guy, and it's a pretty substantial amount of damage. It did a thousand to the first target, and then like five hundred to the second target. So still, that's pretty nasty. Um, now, second ability, or his first ability, rather, is um, Moonlight Immersion. It it restores HP for Estes, um, which we'll see the first part. So it's a it's a it's an immediate heal, and then it's a hot what they call hot, which is heal over time, and it heals. Uh, continuously over the course of a certain period of time so you guys see he keeps getting that 163 pop-up over and over again which is cool and then the second portion of it is is it links somebody with Estes and it restores healing for them and it also gives them a hot so watch as the uh, Freya down at the bottom there gets healed and then gets that hot so there's boom there's the 504 then 151 continuously which is really really cool and then ability 2 is called domain of the moon goddess and it guides a flood of moonlight to fall upon a specified area de dealing magic damage to enemy units within it afterwards it will turn into a piece of domain of the moon goddess if enemies try to escape the domain area they will be slowed down when touching the barrier of the domain so essentially it creates this circle so you there it does damage to everyone inside a circle if they try to leave that area where you guys see like the blue light and the little like hook things coming out of the ground essentially they will be slowed so watch as Freya gets slowed and it can be casted and obviously it can affect more than one hero you can actually do it to a whole group if you want to so in a team fight first of all it's, it's pretty good damage it's pretty substantial damage <clears throat> but the slow effect seems to be pretty legitimate it seems to be pretty effective so really cool and lastly is the ultimate the blessing of the moon goddess and in this one, Estes incarnates into the Saint of Moonlight for a while, intensifying the effect of Moonlight Immersion. After casting the Blessing of the Moon Goddess, Estes will release Moonlight Immersions one time for surrounding allied he heroes. In the duration of Blessing of the Moon Goddess, Estes will consistently heal himself. So we'll kind of watch this one. Essentially, he <clears throat> casts this and then casts his first ability, and it kind of just buffs his first ability tremendously. So watch what, what he does essentially is... He's getting like double healing, and then he can do it to his teammate, and then see how much more healing it is. It it, it amplifies it, and then he can do it to up to two targets. So, uh, three people at any time, he can actually heal like crazy like that. So watch him in game um, with his ability. So the healing is legit. That ADC is taking on two people, but the healing is. I mean, look at the health is skyrocketing, and you can imagine, especially if the ADC has Tooth of Greed that with the own tooth of greed healing as well as estes healing it's be pretty nasty um and the, kind of the way i see the ult going is it's kind of like an alice ult except for the opposite instead of stealing health and doing damage it heals but look i mean look at it it's, it's keeping an adc alive that ult is ridiculously against two uh heroes dealing damage to it because the, the healing is just constant between the Im immediate big you know hit of healing and then the the continuous heal over time effect is pretty pretty amazing um so it looks like ss is going to be a straight 
straight support. I mean, he has a, he has a very small amounts of damage, but his ult is a heal, his main ability is a heal, and he's got a small bit of like slowing AOE crowd control. But he is a straight healer, and that's something that I think this a lot of people have wanted in this game. And I'm really excited uh, that we finally got it. But yeah, guys, it's awesome. I'm gonna put the description to all of Estes abilities down below in the description. So if you guys wanna watch it, just go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm really excited to see Estes and I'll be making a video on him when he comes out. If you guys are all, um, you know, are excited or anything like that, let me know what you think below in the comment section. If you guys enjoy the content, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video. And as always, till next time.